Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my first ever Max MSP tutorial video. Uh, wanted to do a tutorial series on Max forever, mostly because while there are a ton of good beginner tutorials out there, uh, especially Baz tutorials are really good if that's what you're looking for, beginner tutorials, um, there wasn't necessarily anything at kind of a more intermediate level. Um, not to say that I'm an expert at Max MSP or anything, but I definitely remember a time when I was first learning Max that uh, kind of mastered the fundamentals and then you know was completely lost. There was this whole powerful program in front of me and it wasn't clear how to take the little bits that I'd learned to put them together to make sound and compose and do all that cool stuff. So I thought I would make a couple of videos to see if I couldn't help people out uh, in that regard. And this is you know a learning experience, learning experience for me too so if the uh, materials boring or I go too fast or too slow you know let me know I, I really want to make these as helpful as possible so anyway today I wanted to look at something called the car plus strong algorithm it's a sound synthesis algorithm invented sometime in the early 80s it makes some cool guitar and percussion type sounds and it's a really good illustration of how you can put even the simplest Max MSP parts together to get cool sound um, so there are two basic parts. One is just a noise generator, and the other is a recirculating delay line that gives the sound its richness and character. So let's start with the uh, noise generator. So for that, we just need a noise object. You can push N, of course, to bring up the make a new object, and then we'll explain with noise tilde. And we want to envelope that, so we just get a burst, a quick burst of noise. So for that, we're going to make an ADSR object, give it an attack time of 1, a decay time of 0, a sustain of 1, because we just want a flat trapezoid type envelope, and a release time of 1 millisecond. Uh, and I'm also going to go ahead and send a max sustain 10 message to ADSR. And what this will do is set the max sustain of ADSR to be 10 milliseconds. And what that will do is that now when ADSR has uh, starts sustaining, goes into the sustain phase, if that sustain lasts more than 10 milliseconds, ADSR will automatically end its envelope, which is great. It makes an ADSR function more like a, a trigger and less like a toggle, um, which is what we want. So now go ahead and multiply the noise by the envelope and set up a gain and an easy DAC which is of course how we get sound out hook everything up and now if we've done everything right when I push one here we should get a little noise chirp and we do so awesome we're doing everything right um, so now that we've come that far, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is a, the algorithms. We're already halfway done. Uh, the, the next step is to add the recirculating delay line. And for that, we're going to use um, the tap in, tap out objects. Uh, tap in, tap out is one way to get a delay line in Max MSP. There are other ways, but tap out is kind of the quickest and easiest way to do it if you want recirculation. So we're going to set the length of the delay line to 10 milliseconds. Uh, add a um, low pass filter. This is important. We're going to go with one pole, which is just a, a simple low pass filter. It's actually a one pole filter, and I, I don't have a clue what that means, but it means something. Um, look it up or something. Anyway, so we're passing the output of the delay line to that, uh, attenuating by some factor less than one so that hopefully our filter, the delay line rather, the values don't blow up exponentially. Um, and believe it or not, I mean, we're, we're already done. That's the entirety of this algorithm. Uh, once we hook the noise up to the delay line and the delay line to the output. And when I push, when I send the noise to the delay line now, we should hear kind of a string, pluck string type noise. You know, and there we are. Um, so that's the, the first step. We've, we've started now. That's, 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 we've got our foundation now. Um, so now that we've done that, we obviously want to add some more control. And the first thing we probably want to control, or I imagine we want to control, is pitch. And the pitch here is proportional to the length of the delay line. Um, that's because the length of the delay line determines which frequencies are resonate in the delay line and which frequencies are attenuated. Um, Basically, any frequency whose period is an integer multiple of the length of the delay line is going to meet up with copies of itself as it recirculates and um, 
interfere constructively with itself as opposed to other frequencies which will have destructive interference. For a really good explanation of this, I recommend the Wikipedia article on comb filters. It'll give you a really good sense of what's going on. So anyway, if we want to change the pitch here, um, we have to change the length of the, de the delay line. So to do that, we're going to make a K slider uh, to pick the for you know for pitch picking. I'm still zoomed in pretty far here. Let's zoom out a little more. And um, hmm. can you can you tell this is my first time sort of doing this? Anyway, let's move all this stuff over. K slider. Okay, so what comes out of K slider is MIDI, and we're interested in frequency. So I'm going to make a MIDI to frequency object to transform that into frequency. And then, like I said, the pitch comes from the length of the, del the delay line where frequencies, the fundamental frequency is the frequency whose uh, period is equal to the length of the delay line. So we take the frequency that comes out of the um, uh, K slider there, we take 1000 milliseconds divided by that frequency. Um, Notice the exclamation that there's the exclamation mark before the uh, divisor slash there. That's because we're taking 1,000 divided by the frequency rather than the frequency divided by 1,000. And then we can really just feed that straight into the um, length into tap out here to change the length of the delay line, and and we're done. Um, one thing that we might want to do at this point is. Uh, add a trigger here so that after we set the length of the delay line we then trigger the ADSR so we'll go ahead and set the length of the delay line here and then send a bang up to ADSR here this is getting kind of sloppy um, let's just clean up a little bit I think that would be good Um, sorry, send trigger, receive trigger, sorry I spaced there for a second, uh, send trigger in here and the bang will go to this trigger. And now when we push these keys it will first set the frequency, um, sorry set the length of the delay line which uh, determines the frequency that will resonate and then it will trigger, send this a trigger here and go ahead and make get the envelope going. Awesome. Um, so let's see, I don't know how we're doing on time, but I'm going to assume we're out. Um, from here, there's lots of other stuff you can do. You can play with the resonant, the, this, you can change this filter value here so that um, the note resonates differently. You can change, instead of adding full spectrum white noise, you can instead go with a Rand tilde object, um, which emphasize, which has most of its energy concentrated below a certain frequency. So just really quickly I'll change this to a RAND 600 which basically gives you noise most of whose intensity is below 600 Hertz and immediately you'll hear a big difference in the way this, in the in the sound you get out. Much, much, much more mellow sound. Um, so you can play with that and get different results out there. And finally you can of course change this um, decay constant here to get notes that resonate longer um, uh, longer or shorter within within this delay line and there you go that's the car plus strong algorithm um, there's tons of ways that you can tweak this and adjust it to get really unique sounds it's really extensible and powerful and you know all we have here is noise tap in tap out and one filter and that's you know those are basically all the parts there and those are really simple parts um, so there you go thanks for watching I hope that was helpful um, you know please let me know if if something was unclear uh, and especially if there are other things you'd like to see demonstrated in Max, because I'd be more than happy to make a video about it. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good one.